Hi everyone, I'm Adana and I'm so pleased to be working with you all. I'm 19 and I'm on a gap year before university and I think that it's great that I get to spend some of my year hosting this show, even though I have to put up with Emeka. Yeah, yeah, lucky you. Hi guys, my name is Emeka and I'm 17, also on a gap year. Adana, what have you done this gap year that you really like? Because I know I've done a few interesting things. Ooh, I was really lucky to spend three months in France learning French by the beach. It was great. And I think that's one of the best things about a gap year. You get to learn new things hands-on in a different environment. I also enjoyed the hands-on experience of working in a proper office, like shirt, tie, everything. Okay, there was no tie, but it was still a proper working environment and I learned so much. I worked in a financial advisory firm and that taught me so many things about managing money, which is why I really wanted to do this show in the first place. So, what is this show? Cha-Ching is our wonderful financial literacy program that teaches money-wise habits and promotes financial responsibility in children. Cha-Ching consists of a series of three-minute music videos featuring six lively characters to help the children learn about the basics of money management, which are earn, save, spend, and donate. Okay, Aleka, you said you were a finance guy, so I have a question for you. Where does money come from? Great question. Let's find out from today's video. Great show, everybody. Here's your pay. Oh, poor thing. I wonder where it's been. Tell us where does money come from? Well, it starts like at the mint. Where it goes through the printing stand Then it spread throughout the country To the bank or ATM Then it makes its way to you, my friend You can earn, save, spend, and donate This moves our money round At a supersonic rate Yeah, we want to earn, save, spend, and donate To open up a world of possibilities Hi, my name is Bobby, and I'm just a bit confused. My hard earned cash, I always tend to lose. To the busy bee, that is why my friends call me. I work hard and save, that's what I love to do. Hi, my name is Papa, I love to spend and spend, especially on the weekend with my friends. We get paid Your money moves to and fro But you have choices, don't you know? We've all got such different needs And spend same at different speeds oh! Yeah, let's think about our money When we have it in our hands It is good to understand That we can earn, save, spend, donate our money I love to help a friend in need And the message given money always sends Justin is my name And making dollars is my game My ideas are big and soul's my earning too You can't earn, save, spend and donate These are decisions that we all have to make Yeah, we wanna earn, save, spend and donate Open up a world of possibilities. Open up a world. To open up a world of possibilities. So that's where it's been. Welcome back, guys. Adana, which character in the Cha-Ching Band do you think you're most like? Mm, I think Zul and I are a perfect match because I like saving up most of my money so I can buy books. What about you? I think I am like Prudence because I'm so frugal with my money. I know you'd love to think that, but Emeka, that is definitely not true. I think we both know that deep down, you're just as muddled and confused as Bobby. Anyway, we have a few friends with us in the studio to help us with our learning. Uju, Miriam, Annalie, and Simi. How are you guys today? 
Fine, fine. So, in the video, we learned that money is printed by the government in the mint. Does anyone know who's in charge of printing the money in Nigeria? I know. The Nigerian Security Printing and Minting Company is responsible for printing money in Nigeria. Thanks, Emeka. But that question was actually meant for our guests, so can we give them a try now? As we said, the money in the mint is printed by the government. But does anyone know what exactly the government is? I know. Yeah? The government is a group of people that manage our cities, states and nations. Perfect. Now, for all of you who are muddled and confused, like Bobby, or Emeka should I say, we're going to do a fun activity to show you a bit more about earning. So, today's challenge is all about earning money. Our live audience has been paired into two teams and each team will participate in three challenges to earn as many cha-ching dollars as they can by performing in these challenges the best as they can. The aim of the first challenge is for each team to pick one person to do as many jumping jacks as they can do in 20 seconds. Remember, you get five cha-ching dollars for each jumping jack you do. Are you ready? Yes! Let's get Get started. Wow. Great job, guys. Now, for our second challenge, each team will pick the person that didn't do the first challenge to come forward and name as many African countries as they can, again, in 20 seconds. Each country earns you another five cha-ching dollars. No repeating is allowed, so whoever's brave enough to come first has a huge advantage. Who's ready? Okay, your time starts now. now. Egypt, Nigeria, Ghana, Madagascar, Congo, Guinea, South Africa, um, uh, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and uh, Your time is up. Now it's your turn. Are you ready? Yes. Time starts now. Algeria, Morocco, Mauritania, Madagascar, Mauritius, Tanzania, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Gabon. Good job to both teams. I hope that helped you guys learn more about African countries. Now, we're heading to the activity table for our final challenge, the cup stacking challenge. And you guys will be doing that together. Are you guys ready? Yes. Then let's head right there. All right, guys, are you ready? Yes. yes. And your time starts now. <laughs> And that's it! That was great, guys. Over here, Simi and Mariam are the winners of the third challenge, managing to stack 12 cups in three levels. They've also managed to earn 340 cha-ching dollars over all three challenges. However, the winners of today's challenge with just five cha-ching dollars more are Anneli and Uju with 345 cha-ching dollars. Well done, everybody. That was fun. So what did you guys learn? I can make money by working with other people. Very nice. How about you? I can make money by doing interesting things. Great observations, guys. And I hope you all learned something too. Now, let's get right back into the cha-ching money flow. So, can anyone tell me who regulates the money flow in Nigeria? 
Wait a minute, what does regulate even mean? Great question. Regulate means the person that sets all the rules about who earns, saves, borrows or donates in Nigeria. Now that that's cleared up, I'll ask the question again. Who's in charge of regulating the money flow in Nigeria? If you know the answer, please tweet it to us or send us a DM on Instagram or Facebook or the handles on the screen below. And for those of you without social media or internet connection, you're definitely not left out. You can borrow mom or dad's phone and send us a text to this dedicated number right here on the screen. And if you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment and hit that subscribe button. Guys, if you have any more questions about saving, check out the JA Online Entrepreneurship Program. So today we've learned how to earn, save, spend and donate. <laughs> great one guys. See you guys next time and have a great day. Bye. Bye.